truly are incorruptible, aren't you? I am Batman. What's up, it's Elsa Ray and a new friend of mine who decided to move in on my chin. Today's look is very, very easy. It's the mask from The Dark Knight that Joker wears at the beginning of the movie when he's robbing the bank. Start off with white face paint, I'm using DFX White, and of course, I forget to freaking block out my eyebrows as usual, so that's what I'm doing now. Then I will just go around that while it's drying and fill in the rest of my face white, leaving a spot for the blue. Now the blue area is like a kind of a penguin foot, or at least I draw penguin feet like this with three little toes and then um, connected up underneath my nose. Here I am drawing the frown in white and then I go back in and fill in the rest of the mouth area with blue. With a black eyeshadow, I start shading around the mouth and then I bring that up to make a kind of hollowed out looking cheekbone. With my white DFX paint, I finish outlining my eyeballs in white and I like to use a sponge in my hair areas because I think it covers a little bit better. With a black eyeshadow, I'm hollowing out my eye sockets by going underneath my lower lash line and then bringing that into the inner eye corner area. And then I create some little shading of the eyebrows. I go around the inner portion of the eyebrows and bring it up a little bit onto the forehead to make it look like I am frowning without actually frowning. Then I shade around the mouth area, around the nose, and I add a little bit on the temples. With the same blue face paint I used on the mouthpiece, I start doing the eyebrows. The eyebrows are really thin and the shape is kind of important, but I mean, the whole look of this thing is a painted mask, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I shade above the eyebrows and blend that all out with a fluffier brush. I'm adding a little bit of white here and there just to go along with my last statement that this is supposed to look like a painted mask. I give my mouth a little black line and paint my little nose a little red. There's also some little red ovals right above the cheekbones on either side. And then I really, really lightly outline the white mouth part. This mask is super scratched up looking in the movie, so I am taking just a very little bit of black paint and adding some slashes here and there. And then with white face paint, I'm doing the same thing on top of the red paint and the blue paint. I paint around my eyeballs in kind of an eyeball shape with red face paint, and then I fill that in with black face paint. And then if you plan on wearing this out all night, put some black eyeshadow on top of the black part. This will keep it from creasing and it'll make it like extra black. Now I'm taking a black stippling sponge in a little bit of black and a little bit of brown face paint and I'm putting that all kind of over my face just to make it look really dirty and worn out, I guess. If you don't have a stippling sponge, something else I like to do is crumple up a piece of paper and that'll give you a nice texture. And that's the finished look. I did this one very, very quickly the other day and it would be perfect for any one of all skill levels. So if you're new at this, It'll be great. Don't forget to check out my Elsa Ween competition and I will see you in my next video. Bye.